It's a four game Friday in the game, we got some goodies to show you. My name is Andreas Sachinka and you're watching the LHL update. Our first stop is in Yekaterinburg, we're after on the list host Torpedo. Not a lot of scoring in this one, Torpedo get on the board first. He comes late in the second period as Bobby Butler snaps his seventh of the year in person Torpedo jersey. After Billy tied up late in the third, Bobby Butler turns the puck over in his own end and it's gonna cost him. The puck is intercepted, Alexei Mikta Fitzikita shit off at the far post and he cashes in. Shitov scores his third of the season and we go into the shootout. And it's no other but Bobby Butler who scores the winner, redeeming himself for the earlier mistake. Torpedo win their third consecutive game, 2-1 shootout final on this one. On to Hante Mansisk now, where you girl welcomes Spartak. The red and white find the back of the net first. Five minutes into the game, Dmitry Kalinin sends it past Alexander Shurichenko for his sixth of the year. Spartak take a 1 0 lead. Seven minutes later, Yugra even it up. Anton Karolov finds a way to put it in off this solo dash. That's his first goal since February 18, 2016. Tight game 1 1 is on the board. Less than two minutes later, Pavel Verfolamiev makes a rink wipe past Alexander Makarov. He shoots and he scores. Alexander Makarov gets his second of the year, and it's 2 1 Ugrath. Late in the period, Andre Alexey feeds Evgeny Lepinkov an open ice, and your wrists at home for his 11th. Ugrath scores three in a row, and they lead 3 1 after 20. No scoring in the second, so we skip ahead all the way to the third, and Sparta pulls back within one early on. Maxim Patapov buries the rebound for his fourth of the year. It's 3 2 now. But just four minutes later, Yugo restores the three goal margin. Evgeny Lepinkov returns the favor to Andre Alexeyev as he feeds him for his second of the season. 4 2 Yugo now. And final late in regulation, Roman Lilicin scores an empty netter to secure the win for Yugo. On team scores five goals for the second time this season, and it's good enough to get a 5 2 win. And I announced in our Kazakhstan where Boris lays him up against Sochi. And it turned out to be a walk in the park for the Byzantine team. Ivan Zakarchuk opens up the score in late in the first with his loss of the season. Leader through the second period, Andre Kastis and Amigur Ignatis can set up Alexei Pepelaev for a point shot. And he drives it in with a hard clapper. That's his second, and Sochi lead 2 0. Early in the third period, they score on a power play to improve the lead to 3 0. Andre Kostitsin snipes it home for his 12th goal of the year and second point of the night. They put a chair on top of late in regulation as Yuri Alexandrov scores a shorty on an empty net. Dunstan Barlow stops 33 shots with his fourth shot out of the year and so should take this one 4 0. Last game of the day takes place in Zagreb, Croatia, where Medvedev faces Abdural. And it's the home team that gets on the board first. Kirill Voronin has his second of the year on the team he began the season on. Medvedev go up 1 0. But Abdural get it back late in the period. Artem Zimchana gains some speed at the left wing, skates behind the net, throws it in the slot, and Maxim Kazakov finishes the job. Tight game after 20 minutes of play. Late in the second period, Artem Zimchana scores a goal himself. He gets the puck on open ice and he beats Michael Garnett for his fourth of the season. Arbonne will take a 2 1 lead. Early in the third period, Alexander Gorshkov that's a beaut for his seventh of the year to improve Arbonne's lead to 3 1. And with just a second remaining to play in regulation, Maxim Kazakov scores his second of the game and seventh of the season on an empty net to seal the deal. That's gonna do it. Arbonne will win their first game in Zagreb since 2014. 4 1 is your final. And that's it for your LKHL update. Come back tomorrow though for nine more games, including Avangard Locomotive and Nogmos vs. Paminka. My name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.